Welcome to the Glenn Reed Museum Collection of Mechanical and Engineering Models, which will be sold at Heritage Auctions in Dallas on the 28th of May 2014. All proceeds from the sale of Glenn's Museum Collection will go to the Reed Family Foundation. Glenn Reed was born in the Great Depression in the heart of Motor City. His father was a chief engineer in the early days of General Motors. So it's not surprising that he grew up with a taste for engineering and all things mechanical. To a certain extent, Glenn Reed modeled himself on perhaps the best known of all American engineers, Henry Ford, who built his Model T's a century ago just a few miles from Glenn Reed's own engineering plant and the museum that he founded. Glenn, shown here with his daughter Sherry Reed Grant, established the Reed Family Foundation, dedicated to spreading Glenn's passion for engineering among a younger generation of Americans. The auction starts with a great selection of scale model traction engines, those Victorian workhorses that worked our farms and our roads or served as traveling power stations for any mechanical object. Take a look at this 1 8 scale Case Agricultural Traction Engine. Or well, how about this 1 8 scale scarce model of an early road roller, one of several in the auction. As a young man, Glenn Reed served briefly as a volunteer fireman, and several pieces in the auction represent his passion for firefighting. There are several scale models, superbly built, of Victorian fire pumpers, such as this one of a horse-drawn fire pumper. And like all of the models we've seen, and most of the steam scale models, they are live steam, actually operable using either butane or, in some cases, coal firing. I must mention the only item in the auction which is not a model. It's a 1928 Aaron's Fox fire pumper, built in Wisconsin and restored by Glenn Reed and his colleagues to entirely original, fully operational condition. Glenn's passion for steam is well represented by a large selection of stationary engines, many of them models designed either as playthings or more commonly as exhibition pieces built in small scale. This example, also live steam, represents a Victorian pumping plant built in exquisite precision detail. Glenn Reed served his national service during the Korean War and worked as an engineer on, among other things, Stuart tanks. Here he is inside one sometime in the 1950s. His collection includes some of the best examples we've ever seen of military models, including this Stuart tank, or how about this classic World War II Willys Jeep both of them built by the Midwestern firm Fine Art Models, which many in the hobby consider the highest standard of model making ever achieved. There are over 20 Fine Art Models in the collection. Like many of us, he clearly had a romantic attachment to the steam train. And most of his collection of trains, which is quite significant, are live steam trains built by Astor of Japan and others. My personal favorite is this Astor live steam model of the Flying Scotsman, perhaps the most romanticized of all British trains. And you'll never see a more detailed or finely executed train model than this one, also by fine art models. Among the gentler modes of transport represented in the Glen Reed collection is this beautifully made model of the Wright Brothers flying machine, here are a few examples of the ships by Fine Art Models from the Glen Reed collection. And again, you will never see a more exquisitely executed model than this, the USS Arizona, one of several in the fleet. Or how about this large-scale model of a Spanish sailing ship, designed to be actually used in water and with cannons that work as you would expect, of course, in the Glenn Reed collection of mechanical models. And that leads us perhaps into Glenn Reed's favorite area of collecting, automobiles. How about this? A one-third scale, Italian-built aluminum model of a 1960s Ferrari engine, entirely operational. 
The Ferrari engine of this type is a V12 that was originally designed to be lighter and sleeker than any other engine of its day, which propelled Ferrari to the lead in many of the competitions. Take a good look at this. It's a German-made instructional model designed for use in driving schools in the late 1930s. These models are quite rare, but Glenn Reed found a few, bought them directly from Germany, and had them fully restored for use in his museum. It's a cutaway model, as you can see, each one a little different, but each fully operational. The engine turns over, the steering, brake assemblies, the electrics, the clutch, and Glenn Reed's collection of model cars is perhaps the finest ever to come to auction. Look at the standard of these models, the detail, the authenticity, the precision. Many of them are fully operational and hand-built. I like this, the Stanley Steamer, rarely seen in a miniature model. Glenn's collection includes a large selection built by model master Brady Ward, mostly from Poche models made in Italy, which are considered the most detailed and sophisticated of all models, most of them with well over 2,000 individual parts. So I hope you'll enjoy the Glenn Reed collection of mechanical and engineering models. There are over 500 lots in the auction, and perhaps as many as a thousand individual items with something for everyone. And remember, all of the proceeds from the auction go to the Reed Family Foundation. My name is Nick Dawes. I'm Vice President of Special Collections at Heritage Auctions based in our New York office. I'd be delighted to help you with any questions you may have on the Glenn Reed Collection. Thank you.